Kamusta po ang preparations natin? I, I, I want to prompt that with, of course, itong sinasabi ng Senate na mukhang nagkaroon ng serious uh, breach. Uh, Pakiklarify lang po as far as you understand it, um, what has been communicated and what should the public understand? Well, as far as uh, the, the statement made by Senator Amy Marcos, unfortunately, she's coming from an executive, com executive session no, of the committee. Kaya medyo underseen yung discussions dyan. I think it would be more proper if any revelations from that uh, executive committee session, executive session, uh, should come from her, uh, being that she's the committee chairman. Um, on the part of the COMELEC, we're really waiting for the findings of the NBI mm. before we speak uh, any further on this matter. Okay. Um, it's important to have all of the facts uh, before we come out with a statement. Okay, uh, Director Jimenez, linawin lang po natin for people who do not necessarily follow all things about the COMELEC, but of course, peripherally, they'll hear about hacking, they'll hear about uh, breach. breaches. Itong supposed breach that came out of the, of the Senate hearing, particularly from Senator Amy Marcos, uh, as far as I understand it, this is not referring to the supposed hacking that was also uh, happened last year. Iba po ito. Iwalay po Could we take that? that ah, sige. Could we take that I, I, at least maybe on the hacking side, Meron bang ano yun? Is there any closure? Is there any findings on that? Well, uh, yes, the, there are in fact findings about the hacking incident, which happened uh, not last year, I believe it was around January 8th, mm. uh, so earlier in this year. No? Um, ito yung report ng isang jaryo na sinasabi na nagkaroon daw ng hacking sa Comelec na agad naman natin na uh, pinabuluanan. Mm. Ngayon, uh, We've been uh, corroborated by several agencies saying that the COMELEC was not hacked, that no data was exfiltrated or removed uh, in an unauthorized manner from the COMELEC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sir, okay, let me zero in now on, I understand what you're saying, Kalina, it was done in the executive session, sir. There are things that you may not be able to tell us, but at the very least, uh, could you Give us an idea of the nature of the data involved in the supposed breach. Is it the kind of data that could possibly, for example, change the results uh, in the elections? Or is it simply a matter of privacy? Okay. Um, I think it is primarily a question of, of uh, well, uh, I, I guess it, uh, you could characterize the data uh, in, in various ways. No, Again, um, with, within the within the limitations of what I can actually discuss, I can't go into great yes, sir. detail. Yes, sir. I, what I can say is that uh, we believe that uh, it will have no impact on the elections. So it would not, from your at least from your point of view, it is not the kind of breach that would change the numbers. Yes. Well, that was a short answer. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> no, I asked that, sir, because you know, you know, we're, we're trying to divine uh, what, what exactly they meant by a breach. Eh? I mean, there, there are many kinds of information. There are many kinds of data. And, uh, and, and, and I, I, I also read that some of the data involved, uh, for example, uh, whether some commissioners drink wine or, you know, those kinds of details. So, so that, that's, well, that's why I was wondering uh, whether the data uh, whether the data had to do with privacy issues or whether it had to do with the, with the processes involved uh, mm. and, and the compromise in the processes mm. involved. Well, I, I, think, I think those profiles, for example, that, that's, that's, that bit about a commissioner liking wine, that, that sort of thing. That was actually uh, that was actually part of, of what seemed to be a dump, uh, a data dump on Facebook, right? An information dump on Facebook. Um, so yeah, you know, that's the kind of that, that at least that's one of the things that that's we talked about. Um, obviously, the, the 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 beverage preferences of commissioners hardly reason to doubt the integrity of the elections. I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, although, on the other hand, uh, and I suppose this is also the direction that they were headed towards, um, it does raise some questions about the security involved mm. in, in preserving, uh, whether preserving current data or preserving future data in relation to Yeah, but to that's the, the thing, though. That's the thing. Uh, this is not COMELEC data. 
right? I think we established that early on, that Comelec was not hacked, that this is not Comelec data. If at all, this is data from a third party individual, yes, from, a, from a separate organization, not the Comelec. I mean, we can, we can draw all of the connections that we want. Bottom line, the election system is secure. It is not held by anyone. It is not administered by anyone else. And only the Comelec will have control over that data. And if the Comelec was attacked, then it stands to reason that uh, there is reason to there is reason to believe that the system is secure.